This weekend offers a thing called the Super Bowl. I hear it's about sports. Like every year, everyone has to talk about the ads. Aren't they clever? Aren't they funny? I hate them. But aren't they also offensive? Our very own Catherine Timp is back to let us know what we should be outraged about this year with a special Super Bowl edition of... Let's start uh, with a commercial that will air this year from Heinz Ketchup. It features a stampede of wiener dogs. Let's take a look. It's hard to resist great taste. I can't give Meet the ketchups. Kat, what's offensive about that? Ever hear of the wage gap, Greg? It's not a myth, it's a math, all right? This is proof of that. Ketchup is a $278 million business. Mustard, just a little over $88 million. Mm -hmm. You notice, looky here, the ketchups are all men and the mustard is a woman. Why does the woman condiment have to make less money than the male condiments, Greg? You, are you mad? Are you not offended by this? Well, right? actually, you're sexist, all right? You need to get on board the sane train with the rest of us and realize this is real. More people, choo -choo. Enjoy, more people enjoy ketchup than mustard. Let's nope, it. it's sexism. All right. Uh, this next one is from LG, and it stars the man most people say is my long-lost twin, Liam Neeson. <laughs> In this future, it must be protected. <laughs> What's it got to do with me? Look. What is it? It will change everything. That's why they want to stop it. They will come after you without cease. Because the future... All right. Uh, tell us why you hate this one. I feel, guess. I feel like this is pretty obvious. Yes. Right? Yes. Right. yes. There's yeah. a white guy in a suit telling another white guy in a suit that the future belongs to them. All right. Mm -hmm. Guess what, Bucko? Nothing belongs to you just because you're a man. All right. You don't own me. Keep your phone company off my body. My body, my choice. I'm an instrument, not an ornament. It's 2016. Women are the future, and we will drink your tears. <laughs> Fantastic. Boo! All right. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Next up is a commercial advertising the fruit uh, that is on course to take over the world, avocados. It's a fruit. And over here we have their alphabet. It was called emoji. Few symbols could express the vast extent of their emotion. And this is the white and gold dress that caused the Civil War. This is Scott Bayo. But most amazing of all are the avocados from Mexico. They're always in season, so you can enjoy them all year long. <laughs> great commercial. What was wrong with that one? You say great commercial? I enjoyed that They're one. They're Mexican avocados in space, all right? You know what that's really saying? That all Mexicans are illegal aliens, that it's okay to call them aliens and send them off to space with the other aliens because they're taking our jobs and that's where they belong. That's what. It's really inappropriate, Greg. But it had Scott Baio. But it's racist. All right, all right. All right, so we have uh, finally this T-Mobile commercial. This should be great. You used to call me on my cell phone. Yes, yes, pull out, yes. Perfect. Here are the changes. I love changes. When you say call me on my cell phone, just add device eligible for upgrade after 24 months. Genius. Why should we be offended about that one? The sweater, Greg. The turtleneck sweater is offensive, definitely. You're a sweater guy. You're a sweater kind of sewer. You should know that that's a very offensive sweater. Maybe he's got something on his neck. <laughs> I, he, he sure does, yes. <laughs> yeah, he does, that he does. Mm -hmm. I learned nothing. Lots of things are offensive. I, I learned uh, since it's Black History Month and there were no black, well, there was a half black person in one of the commercials. <laughs> yes. But uh, yeah, I didn't see much representation. Yeah, I know. There you go. Still ahead. <laughs> While the rest of the country was focused on who won in Iowa, President Obama visited a mosque. Was he teaching USA a lesson in tolerance or intolerance? This is where I'm supposed to say you decide. So here goes. You decide. I think I handled that rather well.